to make some prints with your household stuff. Uh, I gathered a lot of stuff. I'm going to go over with you one by one and then you can spend some time gathering all the stuff and then we're going to do some printmaking. So I have a food wrap, a plastic food wrap. Uh, you know, it's like clear food wrap. I have a block toy. I found a little cute block toy. I have a wheel from an old chair. I have a cup, a foam cup. I use it already. The cup for drinking water. I have Lego, Lego toys. I have many pieces of Legos. They are different sizes and then different colors. I have ooh, a toy car. I have bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. <laughs> I really love to pop it. Yeah, bubble wrap. I have some, yeah, like foam. I would say they're foam, like wrap for fruits and stuff. You can get it sometimes at supermarket, different sizes as well. I have a little hearts monitor toy. I like the shape. I have some sponge for clean your dishes, right? And this one has texture and the sponge. And I have this one, I think it's a um, coaster for hot tea, um, cup coaster. And this one come in with the shape of flower, looks really nice. I have a block toy, looks like a shape of a tree. I have straw. I have more Legos. I have a little flower. I have an, another wheel and this is a ring. And then it has little, uh, little like pokey kind of looks like spikes coming out. This is like a little ring, but it has spikes. Yeah, I'm using craft acrylic paint. I squeezed out a little bit of red. And uh, here, I'm going to use my cup. Let's see. So I turn my cup on the paint very gently. Make sure that it's covered with red on the, the outside of the circle. Here, that's stamp. Wow, that's a perfect circle. And then we can stamp more. Nice. You can stamp. We can keep stamping. Keep stamping. Prints. We're making prints. Now this is the large side of the cup, the opening side of the cup. I'm going to go to the back side of the cup and then you can see. Now it's a small circle. I'm making some smaller circles. You can see the small circle inside of the large circle. I had my cup and uh, I'm going to use this wheel. I roll the wheel on the paint and whoa, I'm come back. <laughs> We're making a mark of the wheel on your paper. You can go over the circle. Nice. And next one, I'm going to try this little tree. I just put this right here and I stamp. I'm gonna stamp the tree right here. Oh, nice. I'm going to stamp this tree right here. And I want to stamp another tree over here at the end of my trail. And 
here. Oh, nice. Okay, I have, I'm going, I don't have a lot of paint left, so now I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of orange. You can mix colors. I squeeze orange on top of red. And uh, let's see this little car, this toy car. I'm going to let it. This car has four wheels. So I'm going to let it go around. Whoa, nice. Maybe. Oh, wow, that looks like the freeway. Maybe I'm making a city with my print and with these toys. So now thinking about city, I want to make some uh, building like prints with my Lego. I can do just stamp Lego on the paint. And I'm going to do some, whoa, nice, like perfect circles. Whoa. Making it very tall. Maybe I can make a shape. <laughs> nice. I'm going to flip the Lego around. And let's see what it does it make. Whoa, you see the changes. So the front of the Lego and the back of the Lego look different. You stamp perfect shapes. Maybe I stamp some right in the middle of the road. Okay, now I'm going to do a smaller one. Oh, <laughs> it's only one. There's one small circle inside. I'm going to flip it and then let's see what it looks like. Wow, four little circles. <laughs> Funny, huh? Put four right in here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to scrape out some yellow. You can see how the color is mixed. And uh, I'm going to maybe use my bubble wrap. This one I can paint, use my brush, large brush, paint on top of my bubble wrap. Maybe I'm gonna try a little bit darker because yellow can be light. Okay, now let's see what it's gonna look like. Whoa, whoa, this one looks different. That looks so pretty. My bubble wrap has a layer on top, so it's not necessarily circles. You know, like the bubbles are kind of look like circles, but since my bubble wrap, this one has an extra layer on top of it, so. It's kind of like flat, and then you can see all the circles. Some of the circles are connected together. Wow. Now I'm going to stamp again. <laughs> Let's try. I'm going to try on the other side, actually. I'm going to paint over here. Also, my paint is a little bit thick. Oh, I dripped. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna stamp it right away. Wow, beautiful. I like that. Let's see, let's do 
do it one more time. What does this look like? Cool. It's become a lot darker to light. Nice. And uh, I'm going to use my sponge. I go, I'm going to paint over my sponge. This sponge has a very, really nice uh, pattern, really nice texture. Wow, super detailed and really fine. Okay, wow, beautiful. Kind of looks like the ocean. So actually, I'm going to have a little bit of blue. Because it kind of reminds me of the ocean. So I want to paint a little bit of blue. But the yellow and blue will mix. You will see. So I paint, 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 paint. And step right here. Wow, oh, that looks really nice. Yellow and blue will make your color look a little bit of green. Wow, I really like that. You can see almost look like little waves. Okay, let's try. On the sponge. You can keep everything after you finish the drawing today. You can keep everything and play whenever you want. Wow, that looks really nice. You kind of want to press it very hard. Wow, nice, great. I love the sponge one. Okay, let's see. I have this flower. I'm going to use the yellow and the blue. Paint on top of my flower. You know what it's going to look like now. It's going to look like a flower. Wow, pretty. So I press it really hard. Wow, beautiful. Okay, now I want to squeeze out a little bit of green. I'm going to use this very small, tiny straw. Well, this is actually like the thicker. <laughs> Do you see? Do you see small circles? Yeah, what do you have? Th these are the things that I have. What do you have? You can use the things that you have and then see what can you make. Okay, nice. Okay, we. I also have this large thing. I'm going to paint on top of it. Sometimes it can surprise you. It doesn't look like what you think it, it would look like. Maybe sometimes it looks like something else. Here, I'm going to... Whoa. Yeah, you can cut a big piece or you can cut small pieces. If you have small paper, you can do small images or large images. I really, I kind of like, whoa. Yeah, they're like different textures. I'm going to do one more. Or maybe. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. You can also keep stamping so the color become a lighter and lighter and lighter. Almost look like a tree bark over here. Okay, I'm going to paint this wood block. What kind of shape? Well, it's remind you. Oh, this kind of looks like a little footprint. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 
I'm not sure what is this one for, but the print looks like a little footstep. You see that? I'm adding toes. Can't, like somebody is walking. You can make up your own story. Nice. And uh, what else? Let's try this one. I'm going to paint on top of my toy. Actually, do this a little bit. I'm going to step right here. Whoa, it's very light, but it kind of reminds me of a post office, like a mail stand, like a post, right? Mail post. I'm going to do a little bit of purple. See if I can make it darker. I can have to uh, brush on here and the step. Wow, you see that? Brush and the step. Nice. Okay, so I have this flower one. But uh, it's really like you will, you know what it's gonna look like. I'm not gonna do this today. <laughs> and uh, this sponge is a big sponge. I like the texture for this one. Whoa, look at the color. Wow. It become lighter and lighter and lighter. Whoa, I like the color and the, the, the texture looks so great. I'm not sure if you can see it, but almost look like a garden wall. And uh, last, I'm going to try to use my <laughs> plastic wrap. Yeah, so you can, there are two ways that you can work with it, or many, there's so many different ways. You can, you can do a little, make it crumble a little bit and then tap on your paint lightly, and then you can stamp it on your paper. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit more colors. Actually, we can try this. Um, yeah, we can try. I'm, I squeeze out too much blue. I squeeze out a little bit of red. I squeeze out a little bit of yellow. I do purple. I do, hey, oh, green. I, Splash a lot, and then I do orange. Nice, and then I put my plastic wrap over my paint. I can do this, and then you can smush it. You can like squeeze it and smush it. It's very, very satisfying if you do the, it's very, so you, be careful, you, well, it's okay because your hands are protected by the plastic wrap and it can be really satisfying. You can smush it, you can smush two color in between and then mix them. You can see here blue and purple, blue and red sort of mixing purple yeah like a really nice colors print and you can take it out whoa beautiful now you can even use what you have over here left over and then print whoa you can do it again 
solution, pick up some more color, and then bring it somewhere else. Wow, pick up a little bit more. This is going to be the last part. And bring it somewhere else. Okay, so I think I kind of make made my beautiful city. Um, these are the road. You can make up a story. Right, I have a house. Somebody's walking around the city, and then we have beautiful gardens around your city. And then when it's dry, you can draw anything. You can draw anything you want to around or on your print. And here you go. <laughs> I like my print. It's now it's your turn.